All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So as you saw from the title, the next legendary campaign on both Global and JP has officially been announced in the news and it is for the LR Hercule. And all I gotta say about that is about damn time, man. We should have gotten this ages ago, but I'm happy it's finally coming. I'm happy that it's gonna be on Global and JP at the same time. And it's officially starting on August 20th at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it says, take Hercule to LR Realm through this legendary challenge campaign, level his super attack to level 20, and fully activate his hidden potential to get awesome mission rewards. On top of that, additional rewards will be given out to players who have already awakened Hercule into an LR. Those who have already recruited Extraordinary Friendship Hercule which is the LR's name, to their team before, uh, that would be 5.59 p.m., I think. Yeah, 5.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on August 19th will receive additional rewards, including 10 Dragonstones when this campaign begins, which is pretty standard. Usually for legendary campaigns, if you have the LR already when the campaign starts, you get 10 more Dragonstones and uh, a few other things here, but also... During the campaign period, you can exchange for the Awakening Medal, Hercules Champion Belt, which is required for Dokkan Awakening, five times per day at Baba's shop. So right now, you can get three of the Championship Belt coins or medals in the Baba shop for one million zenny each. But once the campaign starts, you can get five per day. So it makes it a little bit faster to get all the medals, of course. And uh, what else here? Oh, please note the event Hercules World Tournament will be temporarily unavailable during the following period due to preparations for the Legendary Challenge campaign. Interesting. And that's going to be gone from the 19th to the 20th. So what I'm thinking is that they're going to revamp this event to give people more Zenny um, compared to what it currently gives so that it's going to be easier for people to like have enough Zenny to buy the championship belts, right? Because if you take a look at the Bob Shop right now, it's 1 million Zenny per belt, which is... I mean, it depends on like how long you've been playing this game. For some people, that's not a lot. For some newer players, it's actually a lot of Zenny, right? So I think that event is going to give much more Zenny than it currently does once they, you know, make the changes. So that's easier for newer players to buy these belts too and get all five coins or medals rather every single day. But uh, one thing that really sucks, honestly, like about this campaign compared to other campaigns is that there's no event to actually farm these medals, right? You can't like go into it right now and just like grind out all the medals you need to awaken the Hercule to LR status before the campaign starts to get those additional rewards because um, you have to buy them in the Baba shop, right? So if you pop over to the uh, Dokkan wiki here, as you can see, there is the Hercule from the Friend Summon. Oh, by the way, if you guys are, you know, really new and don't know what the Hercule is from or how to get him, he is from the Friend Summon banner. So you just gotta do summons with friend points and so uh, you can pull copies of this guy, okay? So uh, yeah, you have this Hercule here from the friend summon to token awaken him into his next form. It requires 10 of the championship uh, medals right here, right? The championship belt medals. And then to awaken him from the SSR form into the UR form, it takes 20 medals. So that's, that's already 30 right there, right? And then, from the UR to the LR form, you gotta get 70 medals. So that's in total 100 medals, right? Uh, hold on. 10, 20, yes, yeah, 7. Okay, so 100 medals, right? 100 medals total to awaken him to LR. And unless you already have a pretty significant lead, right? You've been buying the medals for the past, you know, couple of weeks, couple of months. Um, you're not gonna have enough time to actually pick up enough medals to awaken Hercule to LR before the campaign starts, which uh, really sucks, guys. Uh, yeah, this this is a bit rough, but as far as rewards go, let's uh, take a look over here. So this was the last legendary campaign on Global, and uh, it was for the LR cell, of course. And as you can see, the early rewards for recruiting cell before the campaign started it was 10 Dragonstones, 3 Kai's, and 2 Reversal Medals. And I assume that we're going to get the same thing for the Hercule Challenge. So these are the, you know, uh, early rewards for anybody that already has Hercule before the campaign starts. 
and then as far as the actual campaign rewards, we'll most likely get 20 stones for awakening Hercule to LR, uh, 7 Kai's for getting him to SA20, and then for rainbowing him, we will be able to recover all of the orbs that we had invested, right? So those are all of the mission rewards that we can most likely expect for the Hercule campaign. And uh, this one right here is a little bit irrelevant because obviously there's no event to farm Hercules medals, but they'll probably reduce the stamina cost of the Hercules World Tournament event, so that's gonna be nice. And uh, this one's also a little bit irrelevant because, you know, I mean, actually, I think there is a category boost for the Hercules World Tournament event. And I think the category is World Tournament, but that's probably just gonna stay the same, right? and uh you know all this stuff basically all the stuff that applies or a lot of things that apply to other um legendary campaigns is kind of irrelevant because this one's kind of different um oh okay so the tech and a potential stage available every day that should be the same because of course hercule is a tech type unit and uh, let's actually take a quick look at the lr androids campaign because that probably is a little bit more relevant to the LR Hercule campaign because these guys were the first um, friend summon LR, right? So, oh interesting, I actually forgot this was a thing for the Androids campaign. So there were missions that gave us copies of the LR Androids so that we didn't have to you know, do a million friend summons to try to get copies. So in total, for clearing five Dokkan events, there were five uh, 11, 12, 13, 14 copies given out for free, and uh, some reversal medals, and then also, um, actually they gave a few more stones here. It was 18 plus 17, so 35 stones versus the max of 30 stones we'll most likely be able to get for the Hercule campaign, although it could be different. Maybe they'll give us more stones this time, not really sure, but just based on the past couple of campaigns, it's been 30 at most, right? and uh, some Kai's, some orbs, so that's pretty standard. And uh, these were the token events that gave out the medals, I believe, that the androids needed to actually be awakened to LR status, so it's not really gonna apply to Hercule here. And uh, then the uh, AGL event, um, orb event available every day. So once again, this is gonna be tech for Hercule. But uh, that's it guys, that is your little preview for the LR Hercule campaign there could be some surprises that we don't know about yet but most likely it's going to be similar to previous campaigns so once again if you guys didn't um, buy a bunch of hercule awakening medals already and don't have a head start then you most likely won't be able to awaken him before the campaign starts but either way it should be pretty easy for most people to actually get him awakened during the campaign since all you got to do is buy the medals that become available in the baba shop so uh, there you go, LR Hercule campaign on the way, um, starting in just under a week. Get hyped guys, not that hype, but it's kind of hype, maybe. Anyways, that is today's video guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.